guys, I just got my new camera and it's Sony Alpha 6400 with the Sigma 30mm lens. I was personally waiting for this camera for a really long time and I'm super excited to take you with me today for testing this camera. I actually put everything together, that's how it looks, it's very very light. Um, in comparison to the camera that I'm shooting right now, which is super heavy and what I'm gonna do now is I'll try to make some shots still images as well as some videos just to show you how it works and Yeah, let's begin So all right guys, I tested this camera inside the apartment as well as outside and I'm here to share with you my honest opinion First of all, this camera is just amazing for YouTube videos. You can see how nice and blurry background is. Even though um, I didn't do much with settings, I still have to figure out how all the settings works and uh, you know to make the most out of it. But with basic settings, it's the way how it looks. And I'm shooting right now in 4K, which is super cool because the quality in 4K is much higher and uh, the picture itself looks more decent. I'm really happy for this camera for shooting my YouTube videos, especially when it comes to talking head videos, because it's just, it's just really perfect. First of all, it's light. So one of my criteria was that it's light, that it's maneuver maneuverable, if I can say so, so I can roam around apartment and change the scene, you know, just to make the video more dynamic. So this is absolutely fulfilled by this camera. Uh, second of all, you don't need to do much settings and know how all the settings work because with basic settings it just works perfect. And I'm shooting right now with natural light, I don't have any lamps, I just want to see how the picture looks and for me it looks really really good. Along with the camera I bought this tripod uh, which is called Manfrotto, this one right here. And it has, I bought it because it has this uh, rotating wheel, I don't know how that calls. So you can shoot both um, horizontally and vertically, which I found super cool because I thought maybe I can make videos for Instagram, you know, in the vertical format. However, I probably would not recommend you to buy this one because what it does, it's, it has two knobs here, which is makes it the legs spread uh, to fu fully. And the other option is, you know, that fixate the legs. However, you can see how wide the legs are. So that means when you put this um, tripod somewhere uh, on the surface, it doesn't actually give you a lot of flexibility. And when you put it on like full uh, spread, then it's like flat which I don't really get why they did it because I thought you can put the legs like this, which uh, then the camera is gonna be higher and it's, yeah, because it, this thing is lighter than the one that I'm using right now, which is kind of just a standard tripod. And plus I, I really like because you can hold it like this and carry it around. However, it's really not flexible. And um, this thing that the rotating ball is, is super annoying because when you have a camera here, and then uh, you want to position it to shoot your videos vertically then it just drops like this and it's actually you have to really find the perfect stability point so i and it was like 70 bucks and i'm not sure it's a good purchase and i'm not sure if i will ever use it because as i said it's not super uh, good for especially for my requirements maybe for something else it would be much better but for my requirements this thing did not uh, did not succeed so i'll just put it two out of ten just because it's light all right guys so i don't recommend to buy that one so i think i'm gonna use my tripod uh the second thing about this camera is i was uh also thinking that i can shoot some things outside, so kind of vlogging style videos, you know, when you just walk around and then talk. However, um, I was using that thing and the videos itself are really, really nice, but it's shaking, so it's not stabilized. And I think it's the problem because of the lens. And so I'll try it uh, another time with another lens, which is more flexible. And also, I guess I'll need to use gimbal or something for stability to make the video more smooth. In terms of the pictures, you can see some of the shots that I made. It's just super beautiful. I didn't use any additional light. I just used normal lightning. And I 
think this camera is just really really uh, perfect for both uh, for pictures and videos you know the camera that I had before was Canon uh, Synology 50D and I had um, Tamron lens and the set was actually perfect but as I said it was pretty heavy um, and then it was really hard to have this flexibility when you move because you see I'm moving right now and the focus is just following me which is super cool uh, on the other camera I didn't have that it was on the manual recording and I just really had to sit at the place where I, I was supposed to sit and do not move uh, backward and forward because that would um, refocus the camera and then it's gonna be blurry not really nice that was really one of the disadvantage of the previous camera that I used so that's why I wanted it to be more you know uh, easy going kind of uh, so that it's you know because I like to move my hands and I like to move my face and just you know to move and this camera is doing really really well and that uh, other point um, why I wanted to go for another camera is because the other one was heavy and it was you know difficult to carry it around even through the apartment or I'm also traveling quite a lot in the normal days so I want to grab my camera with me and it does not really you know disturb me because it's super heavy uh, so that's why I went for this camera and I just uh, promise you guys if you're just starting on YouTube channel or you already on the YouTube channel and you want to upgrade your um, videography equipment this is a perfect camera for this and it's not sponsored or anything like that it's just my personal opinion because uh, for me it's one of the best investments that I did for uh, YouTube and so I decided to give me this gift because since I became monetized on YouTube so I was like okay I want to upgrade my equipment because the other camera was really getting a bit annoying it's really would be you would be so happy with this purchase and, and thank you to my friend Pascal who is a photographer he recommended me to use this camera and I also went to the shop to test it myself and I was absolutely in love and I'm really really happy that I invested this money in buying a better equipment for my YouTube videos and the other thing is I uh, just wanted to tell you guys uh, if you're just starting on YouTube channel that this would be a great investment because I know that people do not really care too much about the quality of the videos but you know in order to compete with this really competitive market on YouTube to succeed you really have to produce quality content and uh, Personally, this is not an expensive setup, but it looks really, really professional because of the blurry, nice background and because of the whole image quality 4K resolution. Let's say we have two people talking about the same thing, right? And then one using really cheap equipment that does not give this good quality. Another one is using a high, good equipment, just like that one. I promise that the one who is having good equipment will uh, grow faster on YouTube because the competition is high and the higher the quality that you bring to YouTube, the higher your chances to be the first one in this market. And the other thing that people say, especially when I started the YouTube channel, they were like, you don't need to buy an expensive camera. Um, you don't need to, by the way, this is not really expensive setup. As I said, it was just uh, around 1,000, dollars $300, something like this. And it's a decent price for both for the lens and for the camera itself. And I also got the extra battery because I always have problems with my batteries because someone, which is me, all the time forget to charge it. So people were like, you don't need to have an expensive equipment. You don't need to have a great setup. You can shoot, uh, uh, this one I like the most. Uh, People say you can even use your phone to start making videos for YouTube and he, I always think that those people who are telling this they have never ever in their life made a video on their phone and then edited on their phone because that's a bullshit uh, it's super super hard to edit the videos on your phone like which is 20 minutes raw material and then you have to cut all the mm, ah, and all these uh, weird sounds put the clips together it's it's a bullshit because it's super hard to do it on your phone because the screen is just way too small uh, you're less flexible if you have a chance to upgrade your equipment just go for it because I tell you uh, the quality of your content would be much much higher and it, your life is gonna be much more easier if you have uh, nice professional equipment 
and you don't need you know to take care about the focus and you need to stay in one place because your camera does not have super good focus guys i think that was it for today how many minutes are we shooting already oh 11 minutes which i think is all right in the beginning i wanted to do like a full review of the camera but let's be honest i'm not a photographer and all of these buttons that are on the screen right now by the way you have this really nice flip screen so uh, you can see yourself um you have this um a we b i think it's a white balance and then some you know some weird words that i don't know myself so I'm not a photographer and I hardly understand one of these numbers and I always use Google for that. And um, yeah, I cannot do a professional review of something that I'm not professional in. I just bought it because it's a great camera for videos that I produce. And that is it. And it does the best way possible. So it was just uh, a review for a non non-professional videographer, if I can say so. Um, yeah, guys, that was it for today. If there's any topics, questions, or ideas for my next videos, make sure to write it below in the comments because I create content based on your requests. 